Uh, FR Washington. Convair 104, this is Boston Ground Control. Put a runway four right, wind northeast one zero. Altimeter three zero zero four. Time one four five seven Greenwich. Hold short of the runway, over. Boston Center, request clearance, Convair 104, IF out of Washington. Convair 104, this is Boston Ground Control, clearance one ready, over. Boston Ground Control, this is Convair 104, do I have a clearance? ATC clears, Convair 104, the Washington National Airport by Victor 3 Milbury, Victor 151 Woonsocket, Victor 16 Andrews Direct, Cross Natick 3000, Cross Milbury 10000, Cross Woonsocket 16000, maintain 16000. Over. Convair 104, contact departure control 119.1. Over. Uh, Roger, 104, changing over. Boston, departure control, Convair 104 on your frequency. Convair 104, this is Boston, departure control. Radar contact, proceed on course, cancel native restriction, over. Flight 104 is on its way to Washington, but the flight actually began 30 minutes ago when the co-pilot filed the flight plan, written, of course, in the cryptic language of airmen. Pilot O'Brien's flight plan is a statement of his desire to take off at 1,500 hours and fly from Boston to Washington. It seems simple enough, but it puts a lot of complex machinery in motion. A Remington Rand computer system handles the paperwork with speed and accuracy, allowing the controllers to devote full time to their vitally important job of controlling air traffic. Within 12 seconds after the flight plan is filed in the computer, flight strips are being printed for the Boston Control Center departure controller and his assistant. The strip is placed in the proposed departure bay well in advance of the departure time, allowing the controller plenty of time for pre-planning. Each bit of information on the flight plan has already been translated into computer language and stored in the computer. The file computer has a great deal of additional pertinent information in its permanent electronic memory. For instance, this is the route indicated on the flight plan. The computer knows that a plane flying this route passes over these fixes in the Boston control area. Millbury, Woonsocket, Sterling, Norwich, and Saybrook. The distance between the fixes is known. All are on file in the automated equipment. The planned speed of the conveyor is in the system too. So everything needed to compute the estimated time of arrival at each fix is instantly at hand. 
Let's go back and see exactly what happened just before Flight 104 took off. To the center controller, the figures on the flight progress strips in the departure bay present an image in depth of all the traffic in his sector. He must calculate where all the flights in the area will be before he gives his clearance. However, Flight 104's departure was a minute late. Departure, Convair 104. Departed 1501. As soon as the center controller is informed, the controller's computer updating device is used to enter the aircraft's actual departure time into the computer. With this departure time, the computer has all the information it needs to estimate the time and altitude over each fix in the area. These estimates are made in seconds and the strips are printed almost immediately. Within minutes, the controller has accurate, clearly printed flight strips to use in controlling the flights in his sector. I bought the center convoy 104 over Sterling 1519, 16000, estimating knowledge 23, Sabre. Thanks to the speed and accuracy of the automated equipment, the controller always has up to the minute data for the efficient movement of air traffic. 30 minutes before the aircraft enters the New York area, the computer automatically forwards the latest flight information. The teletypewriter here in Boston activates a similar machine that's connected with the computer system at the New York Center. Here, the flight strips are printed for the first three fixes on Victor 16 in the New York area. Riverhead, Wolf Intersection, and Coil. The computer has compared this flight with other flights in the area. A conflicting aircraft is detected by the computer. The aircraft is estimated at Riverhead within five minutes of 104's time. As a result, the controller determines that 14,000 is available for pilot O'Brien's flight. Convair 104, this is New York Center. Descend to and maintain 14,000. Traffic a southwestbound DC-6. Estimating Riverhead 1534 at 16,000. Over. Uh, New York Center, Convair 104, leaving 16,000. The new altitude for Flight 104 is entered into the computer by the New York controller. Now the remaining flight strips for the New York area are printed. The computer has noted a further conflict at the coil fix posting. Both aircraft are identified on radar. This makes it possible for both flights to continue with no delay. One half hour in advance of the Convair's entrance into the Washington area, the computer automatically informs the Washington Control Center that Flight 104 is on the way. Flight strips are printed for Price, Shadyside, Andrews, and Washington. Each strip contains the latest accurate information on Flight 104's position. Ten minutes prior to the time Convair 104 is estimated over Andrews, the computer forwards flight progress information to the Washington Approach Control Facility and Tower. Flight 104 from Boston to Washington via Victor 16 was more efficiently controlled throughout its route because the computer system handled the paperwork. Automation in air traffic control allows the controller to devote full time to the complicated task of controlling the nation's air traffic. The computer takes seconds to perform operations that, if done manually, would consume precious minutes. The flight strips are printed clearly. Conflicts are detected in seconds, so there is no need for the controller to perform elaborate computations. The introduction of electronic computers in the high-density traffic areas of the Northeast is a major step toward the goal of a nationwide network of computers that will, in effect, talk to each other.
to aid in the control of traffic over our 128,000 miles of airways.